Well, peoples, here's another thought from the road I was just thinking about. You know, they fixing the whole damn elections over there in damn Egypt and everything. And here, during all the damn riots and stuff going on and and, and trying to displace the, the uh, president of Egypt and everything, uh, all the world governments were worried about the... Uh, 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 Muslim Brotherhood getting in there in the office and everything. Well, now that they've cleared out the president getting ready for elections, the, the Muslim Brotherhood is on the forefront of being elected to, to the government. And, uh, you know, as well as I do, if the Muslim Brotherhood gets elected to the government of Saudi Arabia, of Egypt, that they're going to be recognized as a damn, as a, a viable government by the world, or either that, they're going to have more damn rights out on the street trying to say the damn elections were rigged and all this other crap. You know, and here they they claim that the Muslim Brotherhood's a terrorist organization, just like Hamas. But yet Hamas, even though that may be true that some some aspects of the uh, Hamas organization or the Hamas group may be uh, terrorists or and all that. But by God, at least they were looking out for the damn people that, that were electing them to damn office and shit. I mean, at least they were providing money to build schools and buy food and, and close their debt and close, clothe their children and everything. I mean, how can you uh, deny an organization the right to rule a damn country even though you suspect or think of it as a terrorist organization when the damn people voted them into office I mean hell look what look what we got here in the United States I mean you know really um, I got to thinking about it the other day you know I didn't call him Hitler. I called him the damn Antichrist. I said George Bush was nothing but the damn Antichrist come to come about. And uh, people was comparing him to Hitler, and now they're comparing Obama to Hitler and all this other shit. Well, you know what? They may not be uh, doing world domination like Hitler did as far as an all-out military assault on the world. But if you really stop and think about it, you know, with our military stretched out all over these damn countries and uprisings in the Middle East and, and uh, uprisings over there in the Asian countries and shit, you know, and people wanting us to send our military and, and everything over to squash these rebellions and help the damn people and everything. Well, if Hitler had done it right and and instead of sending in the military right off the bat, if he had just sent in, you know, political advisors or, or ambassadors or and uh, secret cells of, of people in there to to instigate the people and get them to rise and, and to go against their governments don't you think that it would they would have welcomed hitler into their country to take it over just like we the world is uh, uh inviting the united states into into their country i mean really stop and think about how many damn countries that the united states uh could be invading 
We've got Yemen, we've got Syria, we got Bahrain, uh, shit, uh, Ka Egypt, uh, they're trying to get into Yemen, which, thank God, the damn Yemen, Yemenis are still, uh, fighting us for that, um, they want us over in Taiwan, they, uh, you know, I mean, shit. They finally kicked us out of the Philippines. They took back Hong Kong. I mean, you know, we're, we're, our military is actually, well, I wouldn't say our military, I'd say the damn federal government of the United States is actually doing world, world domination. And we're doing it in such a way that, by God, we're being invited into these damn countries. So if you want to say that, that we may not have a Hitler up there in the damn White House, but by God, we got Hitler rest uh government that's wanting to do damn world domination and they keep they, you know it used to be a couple years ago when bush was in office everybody was talking about this damn one world government and shit well by god i'll tell you what since obama's been put in the fucking office if you stop and think about what's going on in in the world and by god where our military's being asked to come in and and the world people are uh people of the world are wondering why the hell we ain't stepping in militarily you know hell it is a hitler regime basically then with world domination militarily except for we're not doing it by force we're be being asked to uh to uh invade these countries but so i'll tell you what you know it's, it's, this started out as a Muslim Brotherhood and Hamas, but, you know, who are we to say what, what government should be uh, ruling, what kind of form of government a country should have ruling their damn country? Now, we can withhold uh, financial and uh, financial support and everything for that country. That's fine, all well and good. If they think they can run the, uh, if they think they can run the damn country, let them go ahead and run it. But by God, give them half a damn chance to prove themselves as a viable government. Don't just cut them straight off like we did Hamas. Give them Muslim Brotherhood and and, and give Hamas the right to rule as they as they were uh, freely elected to do. You know, that's all I'm saying. So if the Muslim Brotherhood thinks they're going to go in there and get uh, elected to office in Egypt and, and, and expect the damn world to and bite down men with open arms, well, I got news for them. They need to just step back and look at what happened to Hamas and Hoffa and, uh, and all these other organizations that were elected by the people to govern and stuff, you know, that's all I'm saying. And if you want to talk about a damn Hitler-esque government, by God, like I said, look at the damn federal United States government, how we're being asked to invade these fucking countries. So that's all I got about time for right now. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye.